Hi, I'm Janita Holt, a volunteer and support coordinator with Forge Breast Cancer Survivor Center. In this presentation, you'll learn the following objectives. You'll learn to recognize the long-term effects of breast cancer diagnosis on the survivor and their loved ones. You'll be able to identify benefits of emotional support and resources for survivors and co-survivors, and you'll also be able to locate community support resources for survivors and their loved ones. There are lingering psychological, social, and spiritual effects. For the survivor, there are fears of relapse or metastatic breast cancer for the rest of their lives. Over 50% experience moderate to severe levels of fear. Over 70% of younger survivors under age 45 experience moderate to severe fears. Spouses also can experience mood disorders such as depression or anxiety. And there's also an effect on children who experience their mother's diagnosis. There have been positive effects of supportive services for breast cancer survivors. They benefit most from one-to-one -one relationships or supportive groups of trained peers who are also breast cancer survivors. Breast cancer survivors who participate in small groups are at lower risk of cancer recurrence, and they are 56% lower risk of dying from breast cancer. Supportive services for family members and caregivers can reduce their mood disorders, their anxieties, or their stress to provide better and longer care for their loved one. After all of the consuming momentum of active treatment for breast cancer ends, that's when survivors need their support the most. There's a saying that when the casserole stops, that's when it hits you. I have cancer. Now I'm going to turn over our presentation to our executive director, Lauren Roberts. Forge Breast Cancer Survivor Center supports, empowers, and improves quality of life for breast cancer patients, survivors, and those who love them from the day of diagnosis through the rest of their lives. We were created in 2016 through a collaboration with the four Birmingham healthcare systems, UAB, Ascension St. Vincent's, Brookwood Baptist and Grandview, and the Community Foundation of Greater Birmingham. Our offices are located in Birmingham, and we serve central Birmingham area and beyond. With the closing of Susan G. Komen of North Central Alabama in 2020, FORGE is now one of the sole organizations serving breast cancer patients, survivors, and co-survivors at the same scale that Komen was. FORGE's services center around five main quality of life domains, psychological, physical, medical, social, and spiritual and cultural. All of our programs fall into one of these categories. Under social, we provide a home away from home. That includes a house where you can stop by before and after treatment to have a cup of coffee with someone else who's had breast cancer, coffee conversations, book clubs, walks around the neighborhood with Forge, a number of health and wellness classes, including yoga, meditation, beautiful lettering, just opportunities to get together with other breast cancer survivors and get to know someone else. Under spiritual and cultural, we offer meditation, yoga, mindful breathing, and we can refer you to a spiritual advisor to help you with any other needs you may have. In psychological, we provide free mental health counseling through a partnership that we have with Oasis Mental Health Counseling. We also match our clients one-on-one -on -one with another breast cancer survivor who's had their same diagnosis so they can walk the journey alongside of them. To help with the physical needs of our clients, we provide a host of different resources. We provide knitted knockers, which are knitted prostheses that we can provide that are lighter and more comfortable for our clients than the ones that are provided by their physicians. We have mastectomy pillows, port pillows, lanyards to hold your drains in the shower, financial advisors to help with the expensive costs of a medical of a cancer diagnosis, grocery cards to help with nutrition, nutritional information and education, and health and wellness classes. To help with medical needs, we provide lift rides and gas cards to help get you to all of your medical appointments. Our mentors can attend medical appointments with you so that you're not alone when you're in the doctor's office. We have lymphedema exercises, health and wellness classes, and a number of tip sheets on our website. Now I'm going to turn it over to Janet Dees, our Client Services Coordinator. As Lauren mentioned, my name is Janet Dees, and I am the Client Services Coordinator at FORGE. I am the first person that gets to talk to our survivors, and I find it to be a real privilege. 
When our survivors call or when someone calls to refer someone to us and I call them back, I try to assess from just talking with them and from all of my years of doing oncology nursing to try to figure out what is it that these clients need that could help them the most. And as Lauren mentioned, we offer several things at Forge. We have the bags for new survivors, whether it's brand new, they've just been diagnosed, whether it's a second diagnosis. We also do the peer matches where we take someone who we specially tra train, who is one of our volunteers, and match them with a new survivor to help them walk the walk. They've already been through the journey and they can tell them things that as healthcare professionals, we might not be able to share. We do the support groups. We do them in person and virtually and on Facebook. We actually offer a young breast cancer support group and a metastatic support group on site at the Forge House. We do the free professional mental health counseling with OASIS, as Lauren mentioned. And this is really important because sometimes our survivors don't want to talk to their loved ones about what they're going through because they don't want to burden them. And it gives them someone outside of their family and their close circle to do that with. We offer the lift rides and the gas cards. These are to help patients with whatever they may need to get them back and forth to medical appointments. Some of our survivors don't have someone to drive them. And so they can use the gas cards to ask a neighbor to do that, or we do provide the lip rides. The grocery cards are for nutrition, but they're also to help alleviate financial strain. If someone's having trouble paying their co-pays, maybe having a, gas, a grocery card helps them then use that money to use for their co-pays. We do the group health and wellness classes. We do things from yoga and stretching to really fun things like gardening, arts, crafts, and providing things like Swedish weaving. We do tip sheets that we can give as hard copies to our survivors or they're on our website. Some of the other things we can provide are some post-op supplies that help our mastectomy survivors help just navigate that process a little better and to those going through treatment for chemo or with radiation. We are proud to partner with other resources in Greater Birmingham. One of those is Brenda's Brown Bosom Buddies. And their goal is to serve women of color. They help provide transportation for breast cancer treatments. They provide some light housekeeping assistance. They also do financial assistance with mammograms and they have a great scholarship assistance award that they do through the Birmingham Black Nurses Association. The Angel Squad, many of you may have heard of them. They are a longstanding volunteer group that works with families and patients out of the UAB Kirkland Clinic, and they provide hope, comfort, and compassionate care to those. One of the other ones that's newer that we've enjoyed working with is Pink Tops. They focus on early detection of breast cancer for women and men under 35. They offer overall breast health education, well-being, and support through advocacy awareness. They feel like all of us do that early detection is the key to winning the fight against breast cancer. We would love to help you with any of your patients. The best way to get a hold of us is to look on our website at forgeone.org. It has our phone numbers, our email. We would love for your patients to stop by our house. So we look forward to working with you to help these survivors.